Hi guys, this is Ellie and today I'm just going to do a video about how to prepare your hamster for when you go on vacation. So the first tip that I recommend um, you do in order to take care of your hamster while you are away for vacation would be to find a caretaker. Find a trustworthy person that is responsible and um, what would be beneficial to you if they already know basic hamster care and is familiar with your hamster. In my case, I will be asking my brother to help me out. He is already familiar with Marcy and Marcy is already familiar with my brother's scent. It makes him the uh, perfect candidate to take care of Marcy while I am away. Another great step is to write down a routine sheet for your hamster or some information about what your hamster eats on a daily basis so that your caretaker can have a reference to what he or she needs to feed your hamster. Here I have my um, weekly rotation of food for Marcy. As you can see, this is what I feed her on, on a daily basis. Um, for example, on Friday, I'll give her her table, two tablespoons of her seed mixes. Um, that would be her hazel ham and her basic seed mix. And then as an extra in the morning, I would give her a milk bowl. And then in the evening, some corn and peas um, scattered around her play area. And of course, I would also um, spot clean in the evening. So this is what an example of my care sheet for Marcy would be. Another great tip would be to have all your supplies ready and available for your caretaker. Um, here I have my hazel hamster in this bin and in this little Tupperware um, container is Marcy's basic seed mix. My caretaker, all, all he has to do would be to take a spoon which I placed right here and fill Marcy's food bowl one spoon of her basic seed mix and then of course one spoon of her hazel ham. And that would be um, Marcy's daily diet or staple diet. I also have here on the side is her sunflower seeds and treats. I labeled them as hamster foods so my brother doesn't get confused and think it's just sunflower seeds for myself. So I left this all out for him in case he needs it. it. And that's a great tip for those of you who plan to go on vacation and have a caretaker, showing them all your supplies and showing where you put them and labeling everything will really help them a lot. Another thing that I highly suggest would be to have a first aid kit alongside with your hamster supplies. Within your first aid, aid kit would not only be um, you know, the basic things that you would need in order to take care of your hamster in an emergency state, but also the um, emergency numbers of your vet and your where you're going, so that your caretaker can contact you when there is a problem with your hamster. Um, I will probably do a video on my first aid kit another time, but for now, just uh, when you are going on vacation, it would be great if you supplied your caretaker with a first aid kit and um, your emergency contact numbers uh, for your hamster. So another great tip would be to prepare your cage for your hamster right before you leave. I'm still getting ready and I won't be leaving for my trip until a couple of days, but I did um, clean out Marcy's bin thoroughly and all as you can see here all these items are in her bin cage all clean and ready to go all i need to do is put bedding in it and it will be a brand new clean habitat for marcy what i highly suggest is that you um clean out your habitat right before you leave so then your hamster has a um, fully clean place to live and your caretaker doesn't have to do any spot cleaning or uh, any anything that would require your caretaker to have to empty um, the cage or put new bedding or anything like that. Just to recap, there are five things that you should do for your hamster before going on vacation. Number one, find a responsible caretaker. Number two, make a routine sheet. Number three, uh, make all your supplies available for your caretaker and label everything. Number four, make a first aid kit. 
and include your emergency numbers of your vet and where you're going and somehow a way to reach you. Number five, prepare a clean habitat right before you leave for your hamster so then your caretaker doesn't have to do any spot cleaning or any of that sort before you go on vacation. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoy your wherever you're going. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.